hairy chests, dad bods, and screwing Republicans. Coming up today on The Point. Hello and welcome to The Point, the only talk show bringing gay and straight men together to see what happens. I think there's something wrong with that tagline. For today. Oh, for today. Oh yes. Well, I was we going to- We can still to... be bringing gay and straight men together, though. Yes. I could just be included in that conversation. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and who all. is this that we are bringing into the conversation? It is podcaster <laughs> Leah Abrahams. Hi, y'all. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hi. We give you nice. the clap here. <laughs> yes. Thanks, guys. Um, Keep so giving let's, me the clap. <laughs> let's, uh, you have the clap? What? Just claps, Moving just on. talking about okay. claps. Um, oh, and Jamal is back. I am. <laughs> and what, I've been here for 10 years? <laughs> and Zayd is back. And is, surprise. Yeah. And Tito, uh, um, talking. <laughs> Literally <laughs> the only one that got left out of that. Like Doug is yeah, yeah. That still happen. here. <laughs> All right. He's, uh, he's, yeah. Talking right. point number one, screwing the opposition. So the Washington Post recently came out with a story about how even eight months after the election, Trump reporters don't want to date Hillary supporters. Hillary supporters don't want to date Trump supporters. But what was most interesting is that um, while straight liberal women uh, avoid Trump voters when it comes to dating, um, well, 32% of... Um, of women voted for Hillary, of unmarried female voters, sorry, right. voted for Hillary, and they do not want to date men who voted for Hillary. Hillary. Um, I, so my question actually is... Hold on, the Hillary voters don't want to uh, date, vote, date the voters. other Hillary voters? No, did I screw that up? That's what it sounded yeah, like you I, said. But I, I think we different. got what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. So Hillary voter women don't want to date Trump, Trump men. Supporters. Men. Well, and Trump supporter. Men. And Trump supporter females do not want, want to date, date Hillary, Hillary. Yes. males. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. But there was also... They, they are with her, yeah. but they are not with them who are with her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So my question <laughs> Hashtag was... Hashtag still not with anyone. Okay, yeah. um, single. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, could you date somebody from... Uh, no. Who has opposing no. political views? No. I'm fine with so. someone calling, if you and I disagree on like fiscal policy, you know, how we should, you know, distribute well, sure, we can disagree on that. I find mixing up human rights and not being right. an yeah. asshole and calling yeah. that your political leanings and just be like, sorry, it's my politics, freedom of speech, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, no, you, these aren't your political leanings. You're just an idiot. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, this, this is not about incapability about political views. Yeah, there's like, some things that are my political views were people. very stabby and punchy, right. like, people, I'm not gonna, I wouldn't, call them my political views, and I wouldn't be like, sorry, you know, I just can't say it's someone who doesn't like stabbing and punching other people. It just so doesn't work. Would you date somebody you know I mean? who voted for Trump? Uh, I would obviously hear them out. Like, I'd be like, please, like, I'm not gonna be like, no, one word defines you who you are, or who you vote for defines who you are. I would wanna know your reason, but I do want you to know, to acknowledge at least, that you threw a lot of people under the bus mm -hmm. by doing that. Yeah. But then again, I think voting for Hillary would have done the same thing, but that's just another story. Ooh, that's really... Ooh, what do you mean by that? Controversial, what you just said. Sips tea. No. <laughs> Hillary, I don't think Hillary was a great, like, if you're, you know, shooting, like, you're deciding between, like, two different ways to die, basically. Like, I don't think there's a better no, one. No, 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 no. They are no. not the same. They, I'm sorry, Hillary no, no, no. And, Hillary no, was, like, like, Hillary, like, I don't, like, Two different people, spectrums like, there. What people are really, really good at is romanticizing, like, what could have happened and forgetting what Hillary did in her in her history as a politician and, and as Clinton's wife and all of these things. Like Hillary was, you know, she was responsible for like the war on, uh, what's it called, the war on drugs. That's like a very disastrous thing. You can't just sweep that under the rug. I'm not gonna pretend well, she like she's wasn't a dream. No, 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 she wasn't responsible she for the war on drugs. She had a huge active role in supporting she, that. I, she also had a huge active role in trying to bring healthcare to the American public yeah, in the early 90s cool as too, well. Yeah, that's cool too, but I'm just saying- That's cool the <laughs> the Democrats, wanted, That's a big to, the Democrats wanted to like present a palatable option. Okay, okay, okay. It wouldn't have been Hillary, but the uh, okay. eight-month-old conversation. Discussion. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Leah, uh, you're new to the bunch. Um, uh, where do you fall on the the political spectrum, and could you date somebody who was on the other? So I'm similar to his opinion. Uh, being a black female, I like there it. are very uh, specific issues that mean very are very close <clears throat> and near dear to my heart. Such as, you know, um, funding for minorities, women of color, uh, anything to do with uh, helping black people, to be honest. To yeah. be completely honest, that's what I care about. 
Those are my, that's my <coughs> stance. And if you're opposing that or in, you're in favor of something that opposes that, that's going to be a problem for me. Most likely a deal breaker for me. Yeah. Actually, most likely, 100% <laughs> definitely. Like if you're not for those specific issues that I just named, yeah. um, and if you're taking away funding or not supporting or you're not giving opportunity to, to those issues. Or you don't know context. Then I have a problem with it. And yeah, yeah absolutely, we, we can't be together. And yeah. please don't spring that on me like <laughs> six months down, in, yeah. down the line. Yeah. I kind of need to know that up front. Yeah, I kind of feel that way about the abortion issue. Oh, okay. L like, if if you are, you know, quote unquote pro life, pro -life? I hate that term because uh. we're all pro, everybody's pro life, yeah. Yeah. unless you're, you know, Dexter. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a good man, to be honest. <laughs> I don't, um, uh, I, I, but if, if you're, if you are anti choice, I, I think that says something about your core beliefs in terms of, Morality and how you treat other people and how and you how you think you people. have a right to tell other people what to do with yes, their bodies, yes, right. which people don't have the right to do. No. Yeah. Well, there was actually I, I, I walked by a, a pro-life or anti-choice uh, sort of protest in Dundas Square uh, last week. I see week, them actually. all the time there. Yeah, and and they're trying to be all reasonable with these giant signs of like aborted fetuses and things like that, and then it's just, like, an emotional. He tries to hand me a pamphlet saying, you know. You know, uh, you know, what are your thoughts on the abortion debate? And I just said, you're wrong. That's my thought. <laughs> uh, you know, but like Pretty it's much. it's it's ridiculous. Like let people who are in their own situation that you have no idea about make the choice that's best for them because no one can understand or legislate. Right, right. But you what could you should be. I mean, there are um, pro life women. Could you date a pro life woman? I dated a pro life guy. And well, no, let's him, I, let him ask. I, I don't. Question. I don't think. I don't think so because I think all of these things is not about that one issue. I think those things go down to the core of who you are, right. and I so agree. that would be someone who thinks that that they know what everyone should do, yeah. right. and that's something that I don't believe in. I believe in people being able to be supported how they want to have yeah. their own agency, absolutely. And of so. course what you're saying is correct, uh, but you do have to look at it from the other side. Most of those people that think, you know, um, every child deserves a life, they're religious, right? Oh, and so, and if, you're, if you <laughs> grew up, um, like, your, your upbringing is religious and you're, you know, been in church being taught mm -hmm. every single day, which is actually my background. Like I went, to, not only except, did I go to church yeah. and I still do every Sunday, uh, I was brought up in a Christian school and that was unheard of to talk about choices. It was always pro-life. And so having that understanding and, and, and growing up that way, it's very hard to change your, uh, viewpoint. Well, for sure, yeah, you can understand where it comes from. And I from, have changed it's... as well because I used to think, you know, just that one straight point and didn't think about any other variations. This is the freedom of thought issue exactly. as well. Exactly. But yeah. I mean, you grew up Muslim, correct? Um, but you don't. So in, in Islam, well, in most. In... Oh, God. Uh, this is a minefield right now. No, just no, like... just say it. It's nothing's going to happen. Um, on so, the like, the oh, general. At least, because it changes <laughs> from it should region to region and blah, blah, right, blah, right. how it's enforced. But, but, but you're not, you're not a, a practicing. Not a practicing Muslim. Right. Like, you, uh, I, I'm not a practicing Jew. I have it down perfect. I don't yeah. need to practice. Um, yeah. uh, <laughs> He's got I, it. Cool. <laughs> um, could you date um, uh, uh, a believing, devout Muslim man? Oof, I don't know, because everybody's, it's like dating someone based on their painting skills. Like, it, everybody's different and their art is different in the way, they, this is, you're talking about a person's relationship with who they think they created the universe. I feel like it's a complicated relationship. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I would, every person is different. Like, it's not, but someone's a very, very I voted, I did it, I, I, I dated someone who was very devoted to, who was Christian, who was super devoted to, to, you know, Jesus and what's it called and whatever. And Jesus and, and what's, what's it called? And, and, <laughs> pretty much sums it up. Shebang. You got it with Jesus. But, but it, never Jesus. Interfered, you got it, with Jesus. it never interfered with, with our relationship. And in fact, like, it was, it was actually better because he had a lot of issues that he needed to work out with how to reconcile his religion with, with what's it called, with sucking dick. And it was, What's you it know, called? Oh, sucking yeah. dick. So that was, and if the person is open to learning and whatever, like, it's cool. And when, like, when they had to leave the country, he had to leave the country. And I wanted to give him a gift that would mean something to him. So I asked him a bunch of, like, questions. I was just like, so we're clear. Like, what do you think about a woman's right to choose? And he was just like, you know, he was like, I don't think abortion is a good thing. But I'm like, nobody thinks abortion is a great thing. Yeah, nobody's like, <laughs> yeah. hey, let's all but get abortion. But I was abortion. just like, well, what about, like, like what about, you know, if there's a special situation, blah, 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 sexual violence. And he was like, yeah, of course, yeah. these things were like, I was like, okay, cool, you're not insane. So he broke it I down. asked a bunch of other questions like, 
you know, just my own character assessment. Then I gave him a cross as a gift, which I thought, okay, you like, I can give you this without worrying about you getting, you know, You, you also, earned You know this. what I mean? You earned your cross. It was a silver cross. And it'll it was protect really nice. him from vampires, too. Right, exactly. So, yeah, it does. But it is interesting because, and I want to hear what, uh, uh, because um, we don't know a lot about your political leanings, but like, as a Democrat, like, if somebody introduced themselves and said, hi, I'm a Republican, I'd be like, well, I think if someone introduced this, themselves as high of a Democrat, climate, it would be great. weird, too. In today's <laughs> climate, it's different, right? Like, saying that four years ago as opposed well, to saying no, that now. But if, no, but, you know, 20 years ago it meant, you know, George W. Bush. At the time, we thought that was as bad as it could get. That's what right? I was saying. Now, it's yeah. gotten oh, yeah. a it's got lot worse. But, right, but, here now, so. right. but, but anyway, uh, uh, what about you? Uh, could you date myself, somebody on the other side of the political divide? Um, you know what? I would never knock anything till I try it. Um, I think there's until I've tasted Republican. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm yeah, not, I don't want to say that I it can. It might be delicious. You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. may enjoy it, right? I mean, so, some of them sometimes, um, girls. I, it, it's, it's honestly <laughs> one of those things where you're, you're walking on eggshells, and um, like I said, yeah, I have to kind of okay. get in there and see what it's. I never want to cross anything off. Don't knock it till you try it. That's it. Great. Good place to end. And now it's time for Tito's Midpoint. This week we're playing Needlepoint. We haven't done this one yet. Um, well, since we started. Um, I'm going to read a clue, and you guys have to guess whose tattoo it belongs. Like, the tattoo. <laughs> celebrity? Who, who is the being, celebrity? Yes, who the tattoo oh, no, I'm terrible belongs at this game. to. Okay. Oh. So we're I'm just going to see the tattoo, and yeah. then we have to guess whose tattoo is tattooed. Tattooed. There you go. Yes. All right. Up first. Okay. Like Who's the tattooee? First clue, this actress slash model slash activist and daughter of pop royalty got the seven chakra signs tattooed down her sternum. Oh, who's that one that I saw that I forgot was still alive? Um, uh, I was best friends with Paris Hilton. You know what I'm talking Nicole about? Ritchie? Nicole Richie. Is it no. Nicole Richie? Oh. I'm terrible with the game. Who do you think? We're not done with this, are we? Um, first of all, Newsman, sorry, what part is? of, what's the body part oh, here? Wait, sternum, sternum. Like here between the chest. The, the, oh, right here. Yeah. Titties. Mm. This is a, 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 how does this person identify? Is it a female? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, time's running you out. You don't see any breath. What's yeah, the, read the clue no one more time. Guesses? Guesses? Any guesses? She's the daughter of pop royalty. That was the clue. Uh, daughter. Pop royalty. Oh, oh, lo uh, Lord. The girl, Madonna's, Madonna's kid? daughter. Oh wait, is it Madonna? No, I already. Lord is Madonna's she... daughter. She's a Jackson. Yeah, Lord is. Who's the other oh. Jackson? Yes. Who is? Who is? She's a Jackson. Oh, Paris. Yes. There you go. Point for Leah. Oh, Paris. Do we Jackson. get? Do we get anything for this? I still don't know who that is. All right, moving Michael's on. kid. Anyway, next. Next, this Disney princess turned pop queen is a huge animal lover. She got this tattoo to always remember her beloved dog Floyd. Hillary Demi Duff. Demi Lovato. No. Miley no. Cyrus. I, I was going to go with Miley. I was going to no! say Miley. I was going to say Hannah Montana. I was like, wait, Shit. no. That's, that's alter ego right. over there. It's Miley Cyrus. Okay. Yeah. Miley Ray Cyrus. Next. This Not modern family Carly actress Rachel. decided to go with symbolism mm. for her tattoo. She decided to do concentric circles that are on a tattoo. Uh, uh, modern family? She yes. Is this so it's circle. either the, the mother or one of the daughters. So name her name. Who knows the names? Sarah Highland. Sarah Highland. Highland. Yeah. Good for you. Oh, I it's, like her. She's the great. tattoo is based she off the of Robert know. Frost quote, and the quote is, the best way out is always huge. through. Next, this Enchantress's first tattoo ever is of a lion. Enchantress's? Yes, that's a oh hint. My God. Was she an enchanted? No. She's the Australian one that <laughs> was the Harley top? Quinn. Uh, what's that's her name? That's her, the model. model. She's the model. Um, what's her name? That girl with the big eyes. Is it? Is it Cara? Yes. Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne. There we go. I knew by the lips. The lips gave it away for me. I this don't know actually her. is a this is a trick. I mean, yeah. we see the whole face. We stop being like friends. Like it's her. <laughs> all right, next. Still with uh, This rapper slash singer is known for having the faces of many all over his body. This one is of his father. Drake. Fifty Cent. <laughs> it's Drake. Oh, it's Drake. Drizzy. Drizzy. Oh. And this guy looks like Drake. I don't know. He stopped texting me back. Doctor Wu oh, actually tattooed it, oh. and he oh his father. Oh his father. Fa okay. That's like his mother was Jewish. Is she yeah. is, is still Jewish? Alive. She's Jewish yeah. And the okay, fa I was I didn't that know which. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next. Well, you learned something. Wait, does that mean he's Jewish? Yeah, he's, Jewish. Your mom he's Jewish. He's Jewish. He's Jewish. Oh, he's Jewish and black. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, well you can be Jewish and black. Yeah, of course. He's, Jewish he's religion. bluish. Oh my God. Next. Uh, next. Last one. Oh, he's Jan. No, yes. it doesn't work either. That's just someone's name. Um, this gleeful actress slash singer got Leah a Michelle? simple 
We had artsy cup of coffee. Watch you. How gleeful. are you getting all well, of that? Was easy. Oh, all of us. He didn't even get us, give us he a said chance. Gleeful. Yeah, he said gleeful. I was they do like, a lot of musical theater name. on that show. Well, thank you, Tito, for thank you, Tito. today's tattoo midpoint. I'm so upset about it. <laughs> didn't get to read any of Too my hard. fun facts on any of them. Which brings us to talking point number two, hairy situations. Mm. Uh, this one survey by misstravel.com, which is, oh, I need to change that. There, there we go, girl. Um, misstravel.com, which is a website <laughs> I go to all the time. I don't know about you. Um, uh, surveyed women and gay men to determine their opinion on manscaping. Okay, so the gay men who responded preferred a hairy chest by 58%. Mm. I'm on that team. While only 42 preferred a bare chest, but women preferred the opposite. 61% preferred a bare chest and only 39% preferred a shaved chest. I've I had think this conversation like a thousand times. I would love so to with a straight woman. Gay thing. men prefer I'm, hairy. Yeah. I'm straight woman. Straight woman. I don't know. I think that changes over the years because like before, I feel like every It's been the same for me since smooth. I was four years old. Well, I just- Smooth chest? No. Oh, hairy. Mm -hmm. Cause, Cause I don't got any. You don't have any. You don't well, I have like twenty five. With maybe. that kind of beard, I would be shy. Twenty six, like that is this that morning. Is oh, faint. Oh, okay. That is very faint. That is very faint. I don't know where it is. Oh, no, no, oh cause Middle Eastern men, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, my brother got all. I don't think I have oh, okay. a preference. I think it just depends on when it comes to body hair. I think it depends on body type. What do you mean by that? Oh, interesting. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Like some people will look better with it and some without it, just based on their body type. So what body type works better with it's, what? It just depends on the person. Like it's- so Tito, get down to yeah, it, Yeah, come on. Give us so like a, a very long, lean frame with broad shoulders, is that, does that deserve hair? No Tito, hair? right here, right here. Either broad shoulders, or, either or. or. That's what either I want to know. Either or, you're not giving us an know. answer here. Like, I'm just saying like, if there's like a bigger guy, if there's a bigger guy, like he can do hairy, or if he's like shorter and bigger, sometimes it doesn't work for his body type, so it just, it depends on- I person. don't think okay, there's a- Okay, that's interesting. I don't think like, like, I think there are, you know, like there's textures that I prefer. Like if someone has like, you know, like a crazy, like curly situation where you're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or if you're running your fingers through it and you get caught, you know what I mean? I feel like oh, that's naughty? kind of like, yeah. It's naughty hair? Yeah, and you just chest? have to like, you know, that's kind of trouble, you know, if, if, if you know, but otherwise it's just, I, I enjoy doing it, yeah. I, I'm just, I'm stuck on him going like this and I'm all sorts of pictures going yeah, What are you getting there? Yeah. Yeah. Got like spiders Ooh, growing in there. Finally. Ooh, there's a lot of hair going on down there. You're like, why? Um, uh, what do you think? I don't understand that statistic of the women loving smooth chests. No, okay. I, unfortunately, I'm a hairy girl. I'm a hairy girl. Girl, That's I me. hear you. Uh, I need a man to be hairier than me. That's all I ask. Be hairier <laughs> than me. Don't let me be the hairy one. I find that yeah, to be that kind of uncomfortable. Unco yeah. yeah. So anxious. like, you know, I, I, you know, I got hair in the usual places, but if my dude has hair in places I don't have, I encourage it. Yeah. Now, wait, now hold on. What if, mm -hmm. like you said, you prefer your man to have more hair you know, more than, than you. Mm -hmm. What if he doesn't, but he loves the fact that you have Ew, that's more a weird fetish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm you're just, I'm, 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 you I'm, just I'm just yeah. throwing that out there. What, what if you yeah. come across You're smooth a like a baby seal and I'm, and you're loving my my situation over <laughs> maybe, here? Maybe, maybe he likes that because me. he doesn't have it. Maybe he enjoys that. Right. We never know, Get right? a dog, just, I don't know. That's how I feel. Get a dog. Yeah, don't come to me. Don't come to me for hair. You talked about body types. Well, this is this was another survey that came out. This was according to Match.com. Another website I go to all the, yeah. all the time. All the time. Journal um, <laughs> Match.com. Women actually prefer short guys and dad bods. Yes. Oh yeah. And they also prefer them to be oh, unemployed. Match.com is a liar. And, <laughs> and, and, yeah. A liar. And, yeah, science. Match.com is a liar. So true? No, a lie. <laughs> a big one. No. I mean, women, I, okay, I I speak on all behalf of the women in Canada. Right. No, I don't. But of course I want a man either my height or taller. No. That's just. Well, no, what and about no guy has natural. ever wished that yeah, he was I, I, like two feet yeah, shorter. That surprised me. That, but I actually don't and I'd care like about that. What, what about the dad bod thing? Hey, I'm a dad bod. I love a good dad bod though. I love okay. a dad bod. Okay, so describe a dad bod. You like a dad bod? Describe a dad bod. We got one right it's here. It's just a little That's... pudgier. <laughs> like it's not no, tone. It's, it's just a little pudgy. It's not big. It's not small. It's just like fluffy. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Comfortable. Yeah. There we go. It's good. So cuddles. like if you lay on the chest, it's like a pillow. Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a nice little well, Or if you're spooning, their belly reaches the arch of your back. Oh. Y'all think about that? Oh. Filling in the gaps. Yeah, that's Filling what I mean. That sounds comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> it's warm. Yeah, that's So you don't want somebody who's yeah. too sculptured. Well, we'll put it. I like, mean, I, I don't want someone to make me feel bad about my body. body. You like what he's doing, right? No, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. How how she feels but about body hair? I feel about like fitness in general. If you look like amazing <laughs> all the time, general. and I'm just like, it just makes me anxious to hang out with you. Also, Unless, you know, can I add one more oh, thing? Then it's okay. It's a little Sorry. In the, I know. It's, oh, fine, please. What were we talking about? To be honest, I look good. It's a little intimidating to have a guy who's extremely sculpted and is just walking around all hot. What about I, I get I get anxiety from that. What about guys who like pluck their eyebrows and do all that and they look very Well, if we have if like a caterpillar to. situation, then kinda have no, to No, but right? I mean the guys who are like the straight guys who are like very yeah. metro sexual, no, no. like that's the, not the, for the me. Not that confuses walk. everyone. Please stop. That's not me. That's not for me. <laughs> yeah. For maybe other women, of course, but I like my men to be natural. Girly. Yeah. yeah. Natural. Yeah. Well, well, get in there. There's nothing more natural than time, and sadly, we have run That's out. That's a really good uh, segue there. But Bob of the Week? Just don't pull it apart too much. Well, Bob of the Week. Bob of the Week this week is Nadine Coyle. She's from Girls Aloud, and she's back um, doing her solo stuff. It's called Go to Work, and it's really good. I don't know her, but I know Girls Aloud, so at least I know you're not making up the whole thing. Um, <laughs> if you're watching us on YouTube, please, please, please subscribe, press the red button, helps us greatly, costs you nothing. Of course, you can also check us out on Reverie, the world's largest online LGBTQ streaming service, reverie.tv, our crowdfunding site, patreon.com slash thepointguys. If you like us, please support us, keep us going. Our audio podcast is on iTunes, find us there. Our website is thepointguys.net. Look for all our stuff there. And you can reach us by email, thepointguys at gmail.com. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We Thank have a new you. You're welcome. We have a new show every Tuesday, so we will see you next Tuesday. On The Point.